Uh, Nathan Martinez here. I'm a second year student and uh, I'm just going to be fixing up this fuel tank um, for King's Pride. And we got a patch here that was rubbing up against the hull, and then there was a spot down here that had a uh, little bit of battery acid get on it. So I'm going to weld on a couple new patches, and then I've got a, a bung that I'm going to stick in right in here as a transfer. And uh, just doing this on my spare time after work and enjoying what I do. Many thanks to uh, Nathan doing all the welding over there. We got our two little patches put in. Uh, really wasn't too much wrong with this tank. Aluminum tank, we got the inspection hole last video, but uh, it was just a little battery acid. So we put a little tiny corner patch here. We also added a little, uh, we put in a three quarter inch welded uh, nipple so that we can put a transfer valve in here. And then of course we raise this up half an inch to make sure that it's not gonna get in contact with the hull anymore. That stuff will all get a, a good etching primer and the whole tank will, will get a fresh coat of paint. But for us, uh, being though it's such a custom shaped tank, didn't really wanna to have to pay for a new one. Uh, we filled it with water and it held just fine. So once we prime and paint, We'll get to actually start putting things back together in King's Pride. Uh, I did a water test because of the shape. Uh, this auxiliary tank holds 33 gallons of fuel. I measured it all out uh, so that when we put a new sender in here, most of your new tank monitors, if you, they're adjustable, right, for irregular shaped tanks. So we'll actually know how much fuel is in here. We're no longer going to have it as two separate fuel cells. Got our fill and our vent right here. This is going to be a uh, sample port which will run all the way to the bottom so the tank really holds 33 and a half gallons this is up off the bottom three quarters of an inch so that if we get any sediment in there we can pull samples and make sure it's good fuel what will happen is as you're using the boat it's got the 40 gallon main tank we'll put a quarter turn valve on here and you can just open this up and transfer fuel down into that main tank down low that way we'll be able to use hundred percent of this tank when we're underway, um, where if you have two separate tanks, sooner or later you're gonna run out of fuel and everybody knows on a diesel you don't wanna do that. So it's gonna be a much better system. We're excited, we're actually starting to put King's Pride back together. Thanks for watching.